I can now continue with next path. This is the, in the internal edge, which will be very similar to uh, path uh, 10. So I will go back to path, auto path, press shift, select the internal edge, um, go to depart again, press create, we have a new path and uh, additional points. You can see them here. And I will choose slightly different orientation. Okay. So I will move it something like that. And something like that. Okay. Now I have to find, uh huh. So this is now I copy, select all the points, apply orientation. Okay, there are still exclamation points. Mm, at least I have to, to change the, I have to choose the first point with exclamation and select jump to target, choose the configuration. Okay, and now for the rest of the points, I can go directly to the path 20 and choose configuration, auto configuration. Okay. I will now choose move along path to see if the robot is actually able to go along that path. And then I will add, okay. So now we have to also add uh, instructions for m movements from uh, 10 to 30 and we will just copy, press copy and we'll paste them here, no. I will just move this command, which should be uh, after 30. So, and then I will just choose move J. Copy them again and pass them here. No. And I'll just change the order. So 30. 20 and 10. Okay. And now we can check if the robot can move along this path. Yes, and the robot moves along internal. Okay, we can check again. Yeah, it moves along this path. So this is this is the additional path, and we will also add two additional paths. One will be around this circle edge and the other one around the external circular edge. So we will also have to define new points. So for instance, 10 and 20 are okay, but the next one will have to be somewhere above here. Okay, we will just minimize the paths. And now we have to move the robot. I will again choose the tool. Uh, close. And 
and I will also re reorient it. Actually, it is easier to first move the robot to the desired position. Here, something like here. Slightly forward. Here. Okay. I will teach now the target. Teach target. So this is a new target and I, I will rotate the target. So we want to have a different orientation. that okay so this seems to be a good orientation so this is target uh, new target I will then choose jump to target and choose the configuration apply and I will copy the orientation of this uh, target to the all the other points now I will create a new path so again path auto path Shift, so first, OK. And here I will choose circular. Since this uh, path includes the circular paths, it is, uh, it is wise to use the move circular. This is uh, a, another, beside the move J and move L, this is another way to interpolate in its use for the circular edges. OK. We will also add the part and approach and create. So these are the additional points. Uh, I will just copy the orientation of the previous point. Copy orientation. Choose all the points. Apply orientation. You can see that there is there aren't many points. It's we used uh, move circular, which is which doesn't need to use many points since it, it interpolates the circular paths. Um, we will, of course, do auto configuration. Choose the configuration, apply. Yeah, okay. You can see that you have also different icons. For the move J, you have dashed line, dashed arrow. Uh, for move L you have a full arrow and for move C you have a circular sign. Again now we have to add first movement to 10 and 20. So I will copy these two instructions. I will paste it here. No. I will put it in front. Um, I also have to add movement to this point yeah okay and i will choose move j put it here now i will copy this instruction copy 
paste. No. Okay, and I now also need to copy 10. Copy, paste, no. So now we can check uh, the path. Move along path. Okay, so now we have three paths, 10, 20, and 30. 